everyone. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be about selecting multiple images and getting those guys into your document. So uh, it's one thing to choose one image and you just painstakingly put them one by one into your document. Uh, and you all know how to do that. Uh, that's by going to File and then Place or going to Command or Control D. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. But what you want to do is probably see if you can kind of load up a bunch of images and be able to put them all in your document, maybe without uh, having to go back up to the same file folder kind of structure. So here I have multiple pictures of cats as I've been working with. Um, I can just select all of them. I can select some of them. Um, selection techniques uh, will be using Command A or Control if you're on a PC. To select all. Uh, you can do the fancy hold and drag if your cursor or mouse uh, allows you to. And then another way of doing this is by using your command key or your control key on a PC. So my gray cat and I just hold command and I can click things one by one and then the selection will remain. So just by holding the command key I can select and deselect. Now, if I want a range of things, uh, like from the top one to maybe orange cat, um, I can do a good old hold and drag if I want. But what I'll do is click on the first one and I can actually use shift. And then that will go and click everything in between. So that's shift for grabbing anything like a range, like from this top one to the maybe the middle one. And and or command is going to be the selection tool for I want this one, this one, this one. That's a cherry picking type of thing. So I'm just going to grab all of them though. So command A and then open. So usually what you'll see is the same thing. But look at this right next to my cursor where everything is kind of loaded up is a little picture of the image itself. And then it says four. I have four images that are within this selection. So I can go ahead and start laying in these images if I'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do one, right? Hold and drag, hold and drag, hold and drag, and then hold and drag. That's what I'm doing. But man, it would be really cool if I would be able to um, select some other way. So that's a one way of just getting them all in here. But, and I just did an undo to show you this again. But what happens if I'm like, oh man, like this is not the picture of a cat that I wanted. Uh, I want to use a different picture to lay down that one first. Uh, I'll use my arrow keys on my keyboard. So that's like your right and left arrow keys. I can actually scroll through and choose which ones I want to go through. Now, with that, they'll lay down in that particular order. So I can just start with this guy and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to that one. So I'll choose another one and then so on and so forth. So that's something that's really nice. Now, another thing can happen where you load up all your images, but then you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't want to use the one of the snow cat. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying down my images. Oh my gosh, there's a snow cat. I didn't want to use him. So I'm going to actually hit escape on my keyboard and then he goes away and it moves on to the next image. So you can use escape to basically deselect a uh, last minute. Um, if you decided, oh man, I don't want to use that image anymore or um, what you can do is uh, scroll through using the directional arrow keys, the right and left arrow keys to go through all of those contents. So uh, that is how you use the multiple um, or import multiple images into your InDesign document. Uh, and you can scroll through them. You can take some off of your plate if you want. Um, but yeah, have a good day.